Once your SOLIDWORKS file is finalized and ready for laser cutting, you will need to save it as a DXF by clicking File, Save as DXF. Rename your file so you can easily find it later. I've named this box because it's a box. Then select Export Faces slash Loop slash Edges and select the face that you want to laser cut. Look in the DXF cleanup window and make sure that all of the lines you want to cut appear before hitting save. In the file menu, select open and some options should come up. If your SOLIDWORKS part was in inches, go ahead and leave it as is. However, if you use metric, go ahead and change it to millimeters or centimeters accordingly. Personally, I like to set my file size to 36 by 24 inches, the size of the laser bed, so I can do most of my positioning within Illustrator. It's not necessary to do this step, however, it does make it easier to work with your file, and it can always be edited later in the UCP cutting software. Now we're going to clean up our document. We want to delete the text and join our lines so they're easier to work with. Make sure you set the color to the proper RGB color. Since this is a cut, we set it to FF0000 or RGB255 in just the red part. Make sure you change the stroke weight to 0 0.001 inches. Lastly, I like to position my part to where it will be for laser cutting. In this case, it will be in the top left. However, you don't need to keep it in the top left. It was just easier for me to work with in this situation.